Who wanna bet us that we don't touch letters, stack cheddars forever, live treacherous, all the etceteras, to the death of us, me and my confidants, we shine, you feel the ambiance, y'all niggas just rhyme, body yells though accumulates like snow, we don't just shine, we illuminate the whole show, you feel me, factions from the other side would love to kill me, spill three quarters of my blood into the street, let alone the heat, fuck em, I hate a nigga loving Yo, this is Fish, this is video number two. On my series, Getting Neo Rich. What up? So, what I did, if you haven't seen the first video yet, I've been opening up a doubloon shop. Here it is. I'm selling one doubloon coins, two doubloon coins, five doubloon coins, and I'm purchasing ten and above. Whatever is the best price at the moment. So far, I have broken down a couple of doubloons and acquired these ones, twos, and fives, and I'm working on pricing them. So I'm just gonna hop right into the video. Hope everyone uh, is caught up. If you haven't watched the first video yet, go ahead and check it out. So if you remember from last episode, I was about to purchase this doubloon and explain why. When there's stragglers like this, with one, sometimes I just purchase them to kind of group the pricing closer together. See these 550s? I'd love the price to get back in this range as soon as possible. Basically, we need some bulk sellers to just realize that they need to make some purchases. And we want a bulk seller to come in and buy, you know, 400 of these right now. I rarely ever actually do the bulk buy. It doesn't seem like a good use of my time today. I'd rather just purchase stranglers. One, no one else is doing it. Two, helps out, blah, 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 whatever. I can list off reasons, but yeah. I'd rather just purchase stranglers and let the bulk buyers that'll come in and buy this. New guys come in all the time to the game. They don't know what's up. They're like, hey, I want a ton of doubloons. I'll just buy like 200 from this guy. So that's my basic strategy with what I purchased off the shop wizard as far as ones, twos, and fives. I'm only buying them when they're really low, below this. And I'll buy some stragglers when I'm setting up my shop when I have a lot. So let's go on pricing. Two doubloon. I think I'll price this one at $4.99. So you remember on this one, we're going to be the lowest on the ones. On the twos, I'm going to sit right under Tangi, who's a big time reseller. And the reason being, uh, this is the first name I recognize. I imagine Moon Goddess is new in the game, definitely. And trying to be the number one, but Maybe she doesn't know all the rules or the players yet. So uh, this is a name I recognize. But yeah, I'm going to just price right under Tanji and I'll keep going one NP below Tanji when I bother to check. That's not, undercutting people isn't too much of a concern, but if you really want to get into it. For five to bloom, I like to price these high when I can. This used to be where all the profit was. So when I talk about like how this used to be so profitable, five doubloon coins got as expensive as 10 doubloon coins. And I think at that time, like alarm bells went off in people's heads. Like, wait, fives and tens are worth the same? Like, can I get change? I think that's what happened. Because the fives creeped all the way up to 2,000 and tens were selling for 2,000. So... I used to sell fives all day for 1950, 1925, 1919, 1899, 1895, etc. 1845 when it was getting low. <coughs> um, so what would I price these at? I might go lowest because I don't have a lot. I'll definitely go lowest because I don't have a lot. If I had more, 
What would I do if I had like a hundred? Um, I might go seventeen ninety nine if I had a hundred. And as far as purchasing stragglers, I'd buy these guys. I'd buy these guys. And that's about it. Yeah. And I might not even buy them. Probably wouldn't even buy them. If I did buy any stragglers, that's who I'd buy. Okay, so let's go to tens. Now, I only resell these when I have like a huge surplus. And the reason is basically like, so I'd, if I had a ton of these, I'd just go 1999. And the reason is just to keep my shop filled, make it appear like I'm a really nice balloon shop that has like every coin. And it's just not my, you know, I buy these to break them down. So if I'm putting them in my shop, it's just because I have like tons and tons. So let's go on to 20s. With that said, when I am running my shop, I normally do have all these coins. Up to 100, sometimes 200, I suppose. Same thing with this, I just go like 3999. Maybe higher if I didn't have a lot. Oops, what am I doing? So 50s are really high right now. I noticed that and I got nervous because this happened at 1.2 over the course of... I keep talking about how I did this many months ago or whatever and how I haven't been doing it. But yeah, uh, what happened to 50 doubloon coins at one point was insane. They get up to like 12k and it was still profitable to break them down. People were like buying them and it was nuts. But I definitely just hopped out at that point. Uh... The profitable zone has always been around 10k for the last while. And that's what they've been at for the last week. So they just got hit hard and people will probably start buying the 20s and 10s. I actually won't sell these. I'll just order them, buy more and break them down. You kind of figure out what coin is good to buy. 50s are generally good. They're good for a long time. So yeah, I'm not going to price this one. I'm just going to need it there. Okay, 100 and 200. These ones are special. So, I don't really break these down often. For a couple of reasons. They resell for more. They're like bought for different reasons. People hoard them or something. I think maybe for if the cove comes back. So you can get like more of them, they should be worth for them basically. Like you could sell these for 21,000, even though they should only be worth 20. Technically, 50 should be worth 10, 20 should be worth 4, 10 should be worth 2. I wish 5s were worth more of it. 5s make up all your profit. Like, think of it this way. Anything over, um, it's roughly like taking off like 900 of this, so it's like 740 or something, but I'm pricing low. I think my profit right now is just 700 per click. What I mean by click is every time, like breaking a doubloon, I call it a click. Anyways, moving along, let's go to 200 now. This is another like luxury type coin. Yeah, look how high these are. And there was like a couple times where a bulk seller came in on those and just dumped in like hundreds for many thousand below whiz price and someone could have just easily made a few mil. I don't know why. I didn't pick it up. I was more focused on buying weapons or something at the time. But I was telling my friends to buy it and then it took me seriously. But I know the balloon, so. That's probably why. Uh, 1,000, another one, this should be worth 200K, but it's on for 218 luxury coin. 
And yeah, that's pretty much all the doubloons and how you shop with you to price them and buy them. Right now I'm gonna buy 20s. So I'm actually like not selling that. That was just for, <laughs> probably looks confusing because I'm gonna go buy them for like more than this price is, but this was just a, if I had a ton, what I would do. Like if I had hundreds and hundreds, oh my gosh, there must be some people buying because not many of these available. So I go and buy, this is interesting. We'll see what we can purchase now, and I'm gonna buy quite a bit. I'm gonna buy everything I can. Okay. I always take a, since I know what coins should go for, I always take a second look at their shop while I'm right in there. So technically, all of this purchasing part is part of the process, and you have to count that in your time. But this is still like really profitable to do this, and you know you're going to get the sales. The balloons sell so fast. Oops. I don't have my tab set up right, or normally I would just click clear all tabs to the right, but I don't want to clear this. So we bought up basically all the 20s we want to buy. I would buy more if there's nothing else, so it's still profitable. It's just less profit. It starts to become like 600 a clip instead, but I'd rather buy these. Even though it's a lot more clicks. Ideally, you just want to go into shops that have like bulk. But for the purpose of the video, I'm just like doing what's available. Like I'm just going. This is spontaneous. Um, you know, not waiting for an ideal moment or whatever. I'm just hopping on and going now. So if you check throughout the day and check at different points of the day, you're going to get like Lots of snipes and stuff like that, and those all add to the profit. The bulk shops that you find that just like save you tons of time. But you can't force that stuff to happen, it's going to be some luck. So to toggle through tabs, you can click control tab if you want. That's what I'm doing right now. Let's go back to this guy's shop. <clears throat> German guy or something. Florentine, I see him all the time. He, this is one of the resellers that just like buys and resells popular items. So he's got lots of Nerk mids, the balloons. Okay, he's got hmm, some interesting stuff I don't know, but doctor's bags, Nerks, bubbly fungus. I don't know, some morphing potions, plot prizes, the collectible cards. I think these are um, for jobs, like the job agency. Not super positive. This is a guy that <clears throat> doesn't break down the balloons, but resells them. So there's a lot of people like that in the chain that you are involved with. I love buying from him because he'll keep reselling the balloons and keeps him in business and it keeps the, the balloons flowing. If he gets all the snipes off the whiz, I'm perfectly fine with that. I don't need snipes to make NP. I'm just making NP off breaking them down, like that's the profitable part of this, so that's what's cool, doesn't rely on steps. Anyhow, this video is wrapping up, but I'll be coming at you with another video right after this one, so thanks for watching, this is Getting Rich, I'm Neo with Fish, peace.